uh, in this video we'll see cascading from so I have just added a panel uh, in this panel I am adding a basic component uh, adding drop down box uh, where is drop down box yeah here it is so I am adding drop down box here and just copying the drop down box and pasting it again and there are two drop down boxes are there okay for i'm also adding uh, two text boxes one is and copy paste it for city the two drop down boxes are there so for this I am trying to add the members so I am going to application and on startup drop down one and set items in set items and with set items and with the data source for in first data source and in get member list so first one is state no so we are marking as a state and it should be that internal key and it's a text and a 10 and then if you go to second drop down so second drop down is a again it's a city so um, same thing just i'm changing the dimension so it's internal key and text need to be displayed and a number of item system and if you just click and save and try to run so uh, with the it with the not proper and this is like this but this is a state and this is what this is city and if you want to do the cascading so for cascading what need to perform means so while clicking on this i mean while selecting this so this is get filtered so for this we need to make on select so if i'm selecting something so the event is on select if you are sel selecting something what need to perform so what need to be performed it need to be the data source need to be get filtered so that automatically it will get cascaded so set filter so here it's a state so what is the value here is drop down one so whatever the drop down one get selected value so whatever the value we are getting selected that need to be get filtered in the data source post this after selecting this filter so automatically second city will get filter respective cities will get filtered in the city that's 